Welcome to Pillow Talk. <laughs> It's fine, it's 10.50 at night. They can't see the time. I just told them. 10.50 at night, I'm very tired. This is our first video of the next step. Today was a very big day for us. She loves talking in like vague, metaphorical sort of things. Well, Okay, maybe the day was bigger for me than it was for you, or the morning was bigger for me oh, than it was, it was big for you. For me too, for sure. So to be less vague, this morning we had a conversation, the very first conversation, with our future doula. Oh, you know what I should do? I should look up the definition of doula for people that don't know. Wait, hold on. It's an acronym. It is? Yeah. For what? It means. Really? Yeah. You know this? Yeah. It means doctor. <laughs> You're lying. You're lying. Actually, You're lying. actually you are lying. Doctor, actually. <laughs> you have no idea. A lovely assistant. Doula. <sighs> oh no, wait, that's doctor. You don't even know how it's spelled. Doula. Enough. Enough. Is doctor. Oh, look at this photo. Unlike. Look at this photo that comes up when I Google. Oh no, wait, let me see that. Oh. I don't know if it's going to focus on that or not. Listen, doula. Is a trained non- Oh, it's D-O-U-L-A. Yeah. Doula. A doula is a trained non-medical companion who supports another individual through a significant health-related experience such as childbirth, miscarriage, induced abortion, or stillbirth, or non-reproductive non experience such as dying. Oh. Sheesh. A doula may also provide support to the partner, family, and friends. The overall goal of a doula in any context is for their client to feel safe, be informed, and feel comfortable complementing the role of health professionals providing medical care. Unlike doctors, midwives, or nurses, doulas are not medical professionals and therefore cannot administer medication or other treatments or medical advice. An individual must complete the training to work as a doula, although trainings and certification processes vary throughout the world. So there you have it. We're getting ready to have a baby. Just like the Backstreet Boys. What? No, no this is New Kids on the Block. I just said we're about to have a baby and you're going to talk about the Backstreet Boys? The right stuff. Oh. Are you uncomfortable? No. I'm very comfortable. Are you uncomfortable? No. I ruined the moment. She was really good at doing what... Exactly that, that definition. Yeah. Elaborate while I have my moment. Uh, she did a really great job of, I think, making... Well, I know, making us both feel more comfortable. We've both been saying for the last like 10 years, that's that's an exaggeration. 10 years. For the last five years, oh, in two years, or two or three years, or two or three years, or two or three years. It just felt so far away for so long. And then you, this year, made this year proclamation, year. like, I'm ready when you are. And I know even after Which you I'm said that. Which I'm still terrified, but yeah. You know. But even after you said that, I'm sure you were like, ah, ah. yeah, of course. But every you still time, said every it. time I say it or think about it, I get super. But scared. you still said it, and so that kind of planted a seed in me. Yeah. And this may sound superficial, but next year is going to be 2020, and I think it would be freaking cool to be born in 2020. I just think that'd be cool. And there's something about that that has stuck with me and has kind of like given me that incentive to think a little bit more seriously about it because there's a time element there. So if I didn't pick and latch onto that idea, I think I still would right now be saying, yeah, totally, but like maybe two years, like why not 2022 or like why not 2024? And I would have kept pushing it back. But because there's something I really like about the idea of being born in 2020, yeah. and I want to have a child at some point, that's helping me keep it a little closer. 
the than a little closer. The idea of it actually happening. Oh. And 2020 is coming up because today is September 27th. Today is September 29th. 2019. Great parents. So there's not that many more months left to tr start trying to get pregnant before the child will no longer be born in 2020. That's true. So Maybe we should look at names. No. Like different languages tw for 20. No, no. It's gonna be George. It's if, it, if it's a boy, it'll be George. We don't even get to look at names. Maybe we should be. I don't even get a choice. This is good. You should start with negativity. <laughs> I've been. Terrified. I know you've been terrified. It's terrifying. Yeah. It's the biggest responsibility anyone could ever have in their entire lives. But you also said something really nice today at the top of the meeting, which was, do you remember what you said? What you just said this is the biggest responsibility everyone could ever have in their entire life. You forget what you said. I do. You said something really beautiful that was like, this is the most, like, this is what we're here to do. This is what uh, we're on this planet to do. This is the most natural thing. It's the best thing we could do. Yeah. And taking responsibility for yourself is, I think, one of the most important ways to, to grow as a human being. And this being the biggest responsibility any human being can possibly have, with that is going to come the most growth, I think. I mean, anybody that's been paying attention to anything I've been doing on social media or even just my close friends, obviously, for the last seven years has seen me take such a huge transition in my health. And then the more I started learning about how important my body and even your body is for a healthy child to make this body be as opti in the most optimal shape. Um, and my mind as well, before I procreate, like really, really gave me even more incentive to stay actively like engaged with my health. And so for the last few years, I have been doing a lot of this to hopefully be the best oven for our bun. Should we look up different language words for bun? We're gonna name our child. Of another name of fun? Maybe. I'm killing it with the ideas right now. This conversation has nothing to do with names. That's fun. This conversation has to do with talking about even starting to have a baby, even though we've been rehearsing this for years. What does that mean? Oh, this? In the bed? I didn't even do that on purpose. That what was, do you mean? That was not purpose years? that we we're in the bed doing this video. Like, we've been practicing the craft of procreating without anyway anyway the point of it was we've had many serious conversations about having kids sure. wanting to have kids how we feel about having kids how we want to raise the kids what conversations right. how we would do things like we've talked about That's all true. things we've talked about a lot of things but it's never really left the walls of this house. It's never been into the ears of someone else. And we did it outside in public at a freaking cafe. Sorry, was, mom. And we said it, hey. It wasn't you first. We wanna be grounded in this decision before we say to the world, that this is what we're doing. I wanna feel really grounded. And I haven't honestly felt grounded until this morning. That's why I said today was it. There's this idea in my head that I want to be at a different place financially. I'm sure there's other people that have felt that before. We lack a lot of stability in our life with the way finances come in, and that has made me uneasy. I'm a dancer. I, I use my body to make money. I choreograph. I travel all the time to make money. Like There's something about that that scares me. I want to be able to get pregnant and have a kid and feel really comfortable being at home. And I'm sure a lot of women have experienced this. You know, It's never going to be ideal and there's never going to be a best time and I get it but there's still been this fear that has lived in me that has prevented me from saying yeah let's start taking the condom off and let's start just leaving it up to nature to do its course like no we've been condoms for 10 years we've been condoms, we've been condoms. every so, Halloween so for 10 years I got a name Right? We had vegetable pakoras today at the farmer's market. <laughs> They're really good. We were eating them with Tess, the doula, daula, 
I don't think it's Tao Uga. And she really liked them, and we love them, and it just so happened that we're matcha. <laughs> <laughs> matcha would be good. Matcha Pakora Snarberg. That's pretty. We are not going to be financially ready, and that's okay. I disagree. Okay. Because I'm Speak. optimistic. Yes, uh, the things that are in my brain, the ideal circumstance of how I want our lifestyle to be, how I want finances to be coming in, yes. is just not going to happen probably by next year. And I'm okay with that now, and I wasn't okay with that before this morning. He got a text message from a great friend that's like, look, do you want this job? Not like it's being handed to you, but it's something that you weren't looking for. Mm -hmm. And that job is going to be a full-time job, which neither of us have right now. You were like, do I take this job? Yeah. Um, and so I even said to you, well, if you're about to jump on a job and we're thinking about maybe having a baby within the next year or so, this needs to be a conversation we talk about in alignment with the life we want to be living while having our first child. And does that mean you, we want you to be at a full-time job when we're in the middle of doing this? Mm. And I was like, let's go talk to Tess mm. so we can learn more about the, the money it's going to cost to even have a child, the, the I want to have a at home all natural birth. You were terrified about it because you didn't know much about it. So I was like, okay, let's learn more about what this is going to be. Let's learn more about how much that will even cost. Let's just get on the same page with that. And and that's what I was like, I'm calling to. I'm I'm gonna have. That's why this whole conversation happened today. Like, let's say this job is some sort of sacrifice towards some of the passion that you would want to be spending your time on. Is that sacrifice worth? worth it for this next stage of our life. I f feel excited about feeling like I'm bringing value and support and security to this whole process. And that's exciting to me. I'm sure traditionally men are in the position of bringing financial stability and that type of thing and and our relationship is a little bit different at the moment we don't categorize a certain sex as being a specific role in our in the relationship yeah of course you can't have a baby i'm going to be the one who has a baby because i'm, yeah, I'm but the like man. you're the woman right but like as in other roles like we don't really gender identify like money that type yeah. of thing. There's a part of us that's like, no, if you if your instincts aren't telling you that this job is leading towards your passion, don't take it because we want to be doing something every day that's toward our passion. And even you said, like, you know, there's a part of me that's like, this isn't in fully in alignment. This job isn't mm -hmm. fully in alignment with future passion. So that makes me not want to take it. But to Tessa said, Tessa reminded us the doula this morning, like, there are certain things that you do. That will that will bring light, new passion and purpose and value to your life mm -hmm. when doing it for something of a cause of a child. There's something beautiful about doing something for the responsibility, like you even started the whole conversation yeah. with, for another life. So here we are. Um, there's a lot of things I'm gonna be doing with my body. A lot of things I'm gonna be doing with her body? George. What? It's not only about the female's body being in good condition, like the sperm also is very don't, important. Don't point at it. The sperm, <laughs> like it's so important. It's not just the female, like the males need to get their ish together. You need to get your ish together. And my testosterone has been um, high, so I'm working on my hormone levels. I'm already in the, I'm already, yeah, I'm already. Just doing something right now. I'm ovulating. This is planning. You time. are? This is ovulation. This is ovulation. Ovulating doesn't mean I'm bleeding. Ovulating means my egg is dropped and that I could get pregnant. So condoms on this week. So here we are, the end. Anything else you want to say? See you next time. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> See you real soon. No way, that's already taken by Disney. Talk soon. Okay, signing off. Toodles.